When two solutions are mixed, an insoluble substance sometimes forms. This reaction is a precipitation reaction, and the solid that forms is precipitate. Today we're going to be talking about these sorts of reactions, and the best way to go about doing this is by showing some examples. So our first example is with a solution of potassium chromate. So potassium chromate. and barium nitrate. And we are told that these two go to form an unknown yellow solid. We need to d figure out what the products are going to be. We will start by writing the reactants. Potassium chromate, K2CrO4, aqueous, plus barium nitrate, BANO, three, two, aqueous. As aqueous solutions, we know that these were previously solids that were dissolved in water. Also as aqueous solutions, we know that they contain separated ions. So this, this uh, reaction may also be written as 2K plus aqueous plus CrO4 two minus aqueous that's representing the potassium chromate, plus barium, uh, the barium two plus ion aqueous, plus two NO3 minus, sorry, that's a three, aqueous, and that's representing the barium nitrate. And that's the other way it can be written with the ions. So when these ions form a solid compound, the compounds must have a zero net charge. One cation will combine with the anion from the other original reactant. So in here we're going to have the potassium is going to combine with the nitrate and the chromate will combine with the barium. So right now we're going to rewrite the equation to show what it's going to go to. We don't know which one's going to form the solid yet because we have not talked about solubility. So it goes to our barium chromate. We'll leave that empty plus, sorry, we're going to have to go to another line, NO3D. To determine what uh, will be soluble, you can refer to your AP Chem textbook, or there's the easy to remember solubility song, which you can Google or find on Mr. Chuang's Chem 1 webpage. So we know that nitrate and potassium are both soluble, which means that this is going to be aqueous and it's not the precipitate, making the barium chromate our precipitate. So that is the solid. So our final equation is that our potassium chromate aqueous plus our barium nitrate aqueous goes to form barium chromate solid plus uh, potassium nitrate aqueous. The first precipitate will be produced from aqueous silver nitrate and aqueous sodium chloride. Aqueous sodium chloride is added to the silver nitrate solution. We observe a white precipitate of silver chloride. This heavy precipitate thickens and falls to the bottom of the test tube as more aqueous sodium chloride is added to the silver nitrate solution. This is a white precipitate of silver chloride. Okay, so this is the reaction that you just saw in the video. And to conclude our lesson on precipitation reactions, we need to just overall understand that it includes two uh, solutions as its reactants, so aqueous, aqueous, which goes to form a precipitate, which is the solid, and another product. And that concludes our lesson.